let's look at the quality of service based actual services which can be provided in ethernet based uh, ngns for that we'll have to consider the importance and the dominant role of the operator uh, then the inter operator rules known as the edge rules um, then we are going to look at the services uh, specifically and then the uh, traffic classes we we've covered traffic classes already but we are going to recap these so all the qs services are actually operator based it means a user belonging to a certain operator may request qs based service provisioning from the native operator the operator is going to provide first and foremost the connection which is based on some kind of admission policy it is known as the connection admission control mechanism through this connection admission control mechanism uh, the user request may be denied may be serviced may be downgraded or um, anything else can also be possible uh, then we have the parameters which are also set or adjusted uh, by the uh, operator so the operator beyond doubt is the most dominating player in this thing of course after the user because the user actually has some kind of service level agreement with the provider so the uni and nni uh, parameters are adjusted according to the operator uh, scope and provisioning then we have the concept of uh, uh, application of rules between the network uh, two different networks or at the network boundary so the edge network nodes are the ones which lie between uh, the access and core boundary uh, so these nodes are very critical because uh, when a homogeneous network is uh, there then this quality of service provisioning is, uh, is is an issue that is homogeneously or seamlessly handled but once we are crossing the boundaries then the edge uh, the edge network Uh, nodes have to have a uh, role to play so these uh, edge nodes apply certain rules which are certainly through the understanding and uh, mutual con uh, consensus of both the access and core uh, network operators uh, so these edge rules actually are based on traffic uh, treatment uh, from measuring the traffic to regulating the traffic to just marking the traffic or in the worst case dropping traffic altogether the qs services which are based on these functional aspects we we just discussed can be categorized into an exhaustive list but from the brevity point of view the qs service types for ethernet are regarded as best effort being the simplest and the lowest in quality followed by gold and premium being the best of all these are categorized or classified on the basis of the traffic parameters which have their own quality related attributes the edge rules which are applied at the boundary the bandwidth allocation or the bandwidth profile that we discussed and to which particular qs class of uh, the itu does this service type belong to so we have the premium service for instance which has constant bit rate it has a committed burst size that is a burst is a sudden upsurge of traffic which is certainly a deviation from a constant bit rate so if this burst size is agreed to then it means it's a committed burst size then no excess bit rate or bursts are granted in the case of premium service the edge rules are actually very stringent here because only then premium service can be provided that any flow uh, comprising ethernet frames which are not conforming to the cbr guidelines or the committed bus size guidelines shall be straight away dropped the bandwidth in premium is therefore pretty dedicated the qs classes for ip traffic by itu can be uh, class 0 1 6 and 7 we we've discussed uh, all these but we are going to recap them shortly so you can have a look at other uh, service types as well the only thing which is different and most noticeable between premium and gold is that uh, the 
excess bit rate and burst sizes are allowed because this is statistical time division multiplexing in which inactive bandwidth users give away voluntarily their bandwidth to the active users so the active users can actually consume or occupy the bandwidth not used by the inactive users then we have best effort which is based on class 5 and in best effort everything is uh, at the lower side this is a recap of the ip traffic classes uh, which were defined by the itu uh, just for for brevity let's look at class 0 the basic upper limitation on the delay variation is not more than 100 milliseconds then we have the transfer delay is not more than 100 milliseconds the delay variation is not more than 50 milliseconds it is quite specific and then packet loss ratio is not more than 10 to the power minus 3 that is uh, not more than a single packet in a thousand packets can go in error then we have the packet loss and packet error ratios uh, which are again very stringent we've already covered these if you recall we had class 0 and 1 for real time jitter sensitive applications which is the most crucial uh, kind of traffic that has to be serviced as a, a multimedia traffic over ngn uh, then we have uh, uh, class 2 and 3 for signaling and interactive traffic and subsequently class 4 for uh, video streaming 